Welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis. I'm uh, coming to you today from uh, what was yesterday sunny Miami and not so much today, a little bit of rain. I'm in the middle of a uh, Crystal Reports training class here in the city of Miami with a couple of friends who have joined me for uh, two or three days. And uh, we're taking out a little time to join you and show you something exciting about Crystal Reports. Now, it says Crystal Reports Basics, but I might say that what we're going to look at today is just a level beyond basics. Uh, but many of you have asked through the years, how can I do multiple company reporting in Business One without, you know, buying something extra? So I'm going to show you a way today to do it in Crystal Reports. And hopefully it will uh, be very valuable to you. And the first thing I'm going to do is move over to SAP Business One. So multiple comp company reporting in a very simple way can start with a query. Every report that you do, of course, always starts with a data set of some sort. So how do I create that data set in SAP Business One and then use it as the basis of a crystal report? So let me show you a couple of queries under the query menu, tools menu, queries, and query manager. I've got two that I've created, and one is a multiple company based on GL. We're going to take a look at some reports that are based on those, um, a balance sheet and a profit and loss report. But I also want to show you that it's possible to uh, query across multiple SAP Business One databases uh, with a query. So this one is about invoices. So you can see uh, how this query is constructed. It is a select statement. And here, this very first um, entry, zero as company, I am basically telling uh, this query in the results if this transaction, this line, comes from company one, or the very first company, please put a zero in the first field and call it the company field. Now, could I put text in there? Yes, I can. Right, So I can get more fancy with that. I can make it two digits but I'm using a zero, and actually what happens in my query is the zeros show up as nulls, right? But uh, that'll work too. And then I name all the fields, and I tell it from which database. So this is from SBO Demo US, DBO, and it's the OANV table. Then there's this phrase, union all. And I repeat the same exact information, except notice in the first column of my report, now it's a one that's going to be entered not a zero as it was in the first company. And the second company is from SBO Demo US 